Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams. Topic 4, Project Planning and Collaborative Tasks. Project planning is essential to a successful team project. Assigning tasks to different people, managing due dates, and at the end of the day, finishing the project and everything being done in a nice order is really helpful. One of the apps that we have inside the 3D Experience platform is called Project Planning. Now I'm going to click on the full screen button so we can take a look at just this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. I'm going to call this one Team 1, just like we've done before. I'm going to click Create. You can add a picture in there as well. And we're going to take a look at the different tabs that we have access to. The first tab that's important is called the Summary. This allows us to know exactly what's going on with the project. How many things are in to do, in work, and completed? What is, it, what is the risk? Do we have a lot of tasks that happen to be overdue and the due dates have long passed? As well as the burn rate. How quickly the tasks are being done, how many, how many have been finished, and how much of our resource users we're actually using to finish these. The task tab, which we'll go into more detail in a moment, this is where you can actually add tasks and assign them to individuals or assign them to yourselves. The schedule tab allows you to see a day-by-day day day schedule of when things are due. You can quickly go in and see the tasks that you were assigned, when it's due, and how close that due date is. Members tab, this is where we add members to the project. In this case, we can go to author and we can search for our team one user group and we can add it directly in. The content tab, this is where all the content that is being saved for the project is in one location. If we click this plus symbol, we can upload data or we can add existing content from the platform. Now I'm gonna go back to the task tab and let's add a task. In this case, I wanna create a new task. Just call it create wheel. I'm gonna click add and open because I wanna take a look at the different options we have. We have the title, description, the team, uh, the person that it's assigned to, the parent is just team one, as well as the priority. We can change the priority if it's low priority, high priority, or something that's urgent. What level it's in. If you've already started it and you forgot to add it to the project plan, well, you can jump right in and add it to in work. Or if it's one, something that's supposed to be done in the future, add to to do. Percent complete, this is where you come in and you edit the task. As you're working on it, you can come in here and change the slider to show what percent complete the project is. So it gives everybody else in the team an update of how far along you are on this task. Plan start date, many times you wanna fix it. In this case, let's say we're starting today. Now let's say we want this done by the end of the month. If you add estimated duration, it'll automatically override the due date and put that in there. You're also able to add attachments here as well as deliverables. Once you've completed all this, you can click save and this will update the task. If there's other people that are important to this task, you can also add them in here as well as or specific people. So if I have a colleague that's working with me on the project and they're working directly with me in this task, I wanna add them in here as well. We can also make comments on the task. I could give an update, it is going well. And others will be able to see this comment or if I make a comment saying at someone, I can actually at directly at that person and it'll actually put a notification on their thing saying, hey, uh, at Ryan Kohler, can you take a look at this? Once we've gone on to the next step of this part, we can then move it around to different levels of where it is to do in work or completed. And also in the schedule, we'll be able to see exactly when it's due, we can extend that and we can also shorten it if we've already finished it. Now this other section called collaborative tasks, this is private just for me. This is a, for me to create tasks for myself to keep me on pace. And as well as if I did want to connect it with someone else, I can. Project planning is extremely helpful when it comes to getting the project done on time. It keeps everybody accountable to finish their tasks in a timely order, as well as makes it more understandable for the team lead to see when things are going to be completed and if they're on schedule or not.
Thank you for watching and be sure to finish watching all of the Getting Started with 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams videos. Have a great day.